Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome back to Parkitect where we're carrying on here with the awesome Nova Labs. Uh, thanks for all the, uh, the nice feedback we had in the last episode of this. Actually most people were quite kind about the coaster actually. Um, which I was quite impressed about. So um, we are going to sort of theme the coaster up a bit and then start working towards... I want to get this one finished in this uh, in this go. Okay, so um, experience ratings is pretty low. So we need some rides in and we need some people in. And apart from that, uh, we get a bit of a grant there for having 250 people. So that would probably help us out with the second coaster. Um, okay. Uh, a couple of people said what a good thing would be. As much as I quite like the dudes here just sort of stopping and having a little look. What, are you are you dead? What's up with this dude here? <clears throat> uh, he's tired. Oh, he's all pooped out. Look, uh, as much as I do quite like the people stopping here, they are very tired. So we need to get some park services in. That's one thing we didn't really do last time is we put down some rides, but we've got nothing to eat or drink or anything. Um, but somebody, uh, a couple of people actually said, why not make this the queue uh, and make this the exit, which is a great idea. And I kind of don't know why I didn't think of it, to be honest. Um, so let's hide scenery <clears throat> a second so we can see. There we go. Coming to this ride, we're going to probably have to shut the ride down, unfortunately, for a moment. So, sorry, Stasis. Uh, entrance is now going to go uh, here. Exit's going to go here. There we go. We're going to have a few people wander off. We need to go and round you up pretty quick. Hold on. Come here, please. Thank you. And you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, then we need to move this. Uh, or place a new one of these down, actually. Uh, wait, no, they're in scenery, aren't they? Scenery, path, there we go. That'll do for now. Just need you there saying no entry. So that these all these areas all clear out. And once they do, we can then swap that over. So yeah, that was that's a good uh, good technique, I think. Did we have a set colour for cues? Yes, we did. There we go. It's like that bluey, weird bluey colour, wasn't it? Yeah, so now we can... Do that. There we go. There we go. And pretty much, we need to uh, follow how we did it already. So we went up three, and then we went across five, and then we went down. Uh, Go back to here, sorry. There we go, yeah, down. Oh, level. And then round here, level. There we go. And that's going to be the entrance of the ride. We'll carry on this way. Why are people walking up the staff only queue? No entry for guests. So why are you walking up there, you weirdos? You're going to get yourselves lost. See? See? Let's try not to make too many of them lost. There we go. Okay, so all of you get back on. Okay, some of you have found a path already. That's good. Uh, is that all of you? Okay. This... Like... W go. Who are you? Your staff. Right, that's fine. Your staff. Okay, there we go. So that's now done. All we have to do is put the path back in this way. There we go. Um, we'll, whoops, we'll duplicate this and put you there. There, let's say is exit only. There we go. The people seem to ignore. I know your staff. I'll let you off. Okay, then you go that way, and then you reopen. Okay, and that's that's that that's that that's that that's that. Okay, so everything else is fine. Um, the next thing we need to do then, let's get the scenery back on so it looks nice, um, is sort out some uh, tiredness issues. Like I say, people seem to be having a bit of a problem uh, with tiredness being an issue. So let's get some, some bench work in here. Let's get some inside there for when they come off the ride as well. Um, and we'll go here and here, here and here. A lot of people tired, to be honest with you. It seems to be a bit of a thing throughout the park so we will definitely get some of these sci-fi benches everywhere even the people over here look at them all exhausted look oh poor things um 
Maybe one there. Okay. And then we need some trash bins, even though... Do we have a spaceship trash bin? We do. Oh, it looks pretty cool as well, actually. Yeah, I like it. Okay. Um, even though we don't really have anything that creates trash right now, we will have in a moment, and that's definitely something we want to keep on top of. Um, and we'll have some coming in here as well for people to throw up into. Because I'm, pre I, 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 I'm pretending that's a thing. I'm pretty sure it's a thing. Uh, let's do some of the... We haven't used these yet. These TVs. I don't know... If they, they don't seem to actually show anything. Look at everyone. Look at everyone so depressed. Oh no, there we go. <gasps> wow, they actually show. Did they actually take like a screenshot of the ride? That's kind of awesome. Wow. Okay, that's kind of cool. All right, so that's uh, they're all queuing up begrudgingly now for for stasis. Uh, hopefully. The, the benches now will start to appease people. Um, I would like to do a little... Like we could fit in a little drinks thing here, couldn't we? Or like, uh, you know, food and food and drinks area here. So we'll do a tiny little time lapse uh, of a drinks building here before we start working on some new rides. <laughs> Nothing special there. I just wanted to get some shops in. Uh, I was trying to figure out, as much as I think it's a good mechanic, I think sometimes you are a little bit limited by the hauler mechanic. The fact that the gear um, for this shop has to come from here. Let me show you with the scenery turned off. So here's the gear. Now, the haulers will come in, they grab it, they take it over. But if guests see it, they go, Oh my word, I'm not happy about this being able to see stuff. So, um... Yeah, they start to get a little bit fed up about it all and a little bit wound up. So I'm going to try and uh, keep it not there if I can. Why doesn't that join onto the... Why doesn't that... Can't can't get rid of that. I don't know why that one doesn't join onto the path, but I can't really tell from looking at this view. Uh what there is. I want to try and squeeze in a vending machine somewhere just to kind of get some drinks options to places, but that one there, look, no path. Okay. Uh, vending machine here? Now that one I know it's because there's scenery in there, but there's no reason why we can't fix that. So let's just quickly um, there we go and take a doorway piece and then at least it's kind of... It clips a little, but I'm all right with it. That way there's not stout. Okay, so people are coming in now. They're getting drinks and stuff. You will find, though, that if you come up to here to, like, guess thoughts... Does this park not have staff rooms? For well, we could do a staff room. That's fine. Um, but they'll start to say, Yeah, look, can't they carry these resource crates somewhere else? Which I think is a bit of a... Uh, 
like I say, it's a good mechanic, but it's a it's a bit of a annoying one to be honest with you. So, uh, staff room though, more than happy to help out there. So let's get one in. I always forget about staff rooms. We'll stick one right over here at the way, and we will uh, also cover it in scenery so that it cannot be seen. Uh, we'll use the employee path only to come basically there to there. There we go, and then we'll throw. Um, we'll throw a uh, sci-fi building around it. So, there we go. Oops. Let's move out of the way here so we can do it properly. There we go. We'll have it clipping into the uh, building. I think that actually looked pretty good. There we go. Base corner. I like the corners with the windows. I know the, um, the, the other pieces have windows as well, but I kind of like how it fits... Uh, I think we can get away without using that one there, and we can bring that up to level four. And oh, that's irritating. Uh, let us. Oh, they are slightly different colours. Okay, I'm not, I'm not going to let, let it fuss me. What can we stick on the top that will cover up? We, I suppose, we could do that, couldn't we? There we go. There we are, and then get one of these cool light things on top. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. There is where I want it to be. I like that how it just kind of rotates around. Um, this flare, if it wasn't on a plinth, I'd use this more often. Because I, I know I put down these purple trees last time, but I've kind of gone off them a bit. I don't think they're very good. I think I kind of like the idea of these sort of more crazy, um, sort of old school Martian flowers, you know. I think that's a bit of a cooler option. We need to keep that open there because that's going to be our path down. I suppose we could do that. <gasps> Let's do that. Um, oh, God, what did I just get rid of then? A bit of path, was it? Sorry, a bit of path. Um, uh, yeah, a bit of path there. Whoops. Uh, whoops, I don't really think... Think? What did I say like that for? I don't really think that the... Um, Oh, God, what just happened then? Oh, my God. Pause the game. Pause the game. Uh, I don't really think that the that when you're in scenery mode, um, your right-click should get rid of paths. That, that seems like a, an odd um, system. But I know it's been raised with the developers, and the developers have said, no, no, that's how we want it to work. Um, but, yeah, that's a... Never we one for me, really. I think you should only be able to delete paths whilst in path mode. Pick up all these little dudes here. Come on. You as well, please. Thank you. And you with the cap, Jamie, Jimmy Walker. You are walking all over the place, aren't you, Jimmy? Is that all of you? You're back in place now. Oh, no, there's more. <laughs> oh, God. Right, come here. I think I'd rather them just stand still when they're not on a path and just kind of wave around like they do in Planko and say, ah, oh, look at it, we'll get their heads chops off there. Nice. Um, okay. All of you, come on, clear out. This needs to be a... Oh, this needs to be a no-entry sign area. Oh, I just heard somebody throw up. Exit only there, please. So go. Cool. Go. Stop people wondering down there. Janitors are on the case when it comes to sickness. That's good. So let's see. We were quite low on experiences. 40 odd. It was but it's 55. Okay, so experiences have gone up a little. That's good. Um so I'm kind of happy with that. This building is completely covered now, so it won't be seen at all. That looks really good sunk into the ground. So we'll continue with that. Um a few places to kind of give us. Some Martian planting. There we go. Um, and then one thing I did want to do as well is just put a little bit of detailing around here so it's not just completely all open and stuff, but not necessarily sci-fi buildings, but maybe if we go for some like glass wall. What's that one there? Oh, that's a window. That's quite nice, isn't it? I've seen that one before, but not necessarily that one, but like that, but shorter that we could use as like a glass. Is that the one that's glass? Yeah, this one. Half. There we go. Drag that up to like here. Yeah, and have that. So 
Oh, we'll have to put something underneath it. It's I didn't realise that would get rid of the uh, the built-in one. But that's fine. There we go. And then let's find a, a fence that um, kind of fits. Uh, where are the fences again? Uh, fences, there we go. Okay, so no, not a hedge. That one's a bit too intense, the uh, the proper sort of sci-fi one. But there must be another one that looks like metallic. Like that short one of that would be good. Oh, what about that one? What's that look like? Is that brick? Oh, no, that's good and quite modern. Um, it's a bit sci-fi, isn't it? That kind of fits... Yeah, I like that. Okay, and we'll have that coming down here as well. Oh, can we not do that? No, we have to click there. There we go, and there and there. Okay, and uh, this side. And then we've got that bit of glass so that you're not hocking up gooeys over people going underneath you. But then it isn't really needed much else where. There we go. Uh, and then wall pieces. Like I do feel like we should probably have this this bit enclosed, really. You know, uh, maybe a square one is is probably more suitable. Color scheme from here to kind of keep it all tidy. And there we go. Yeah. Oh, I'd, oh, won't let me do it. Well, let me put these on a half grid, will it? Oh, will it? Oh, yeah, it will. Okay, good, good, good. Okay. So if we go to like there, there, yeah, okay. And then the pole there, but set the colour to be the same. And redo the grid again. Yeah, there we go. And then the rest we can fill in with regular wall pieces. Should just uh, be able to click, clunk click into place. Yeah. Somebody really, really did not enjoy that then. Did you hear them scream? <laughs> ah! um, I've just realised we haven't quite put those ones high enough. Um, so let's grab that piece, delete those and put it back in again on grid number two. There we go. Um, and then pretty much do that on the opposite side. I'll do this quick and then we'll come back. Okay, that's all blocked in then. And uh, I think the other thing we need to do then is have some of those cool um, effects. Yeah, here we go. Fog. These are, these look really good. So you place a few of these down, and then once you're once you're done placing them down, they actually disappear. Uh, you'll see this in a second. Watch. So you place those down. Then when you come out of decor mode, it just creates the fog. That's a really elegant way of doing it. To be honest with you, I like that a lot. And then on the on this side, I want some. We'll even do some terrain paint, actually. I want I want this side to be industrial and, um, like, neat. And some, some like, crates and stuff, like, a, the, you know, you're like your launch bay, basically. But then on the other side, it's going to go just to the normal terrain. Uh, and maybe have a bit of, uh, uh, like, planting and stuff in. But, okay, so there's going to be that. I suppose it could probably come up into there as well. There we go. Yeah, and then some of the small sci-fi stuff like this kind of stuff. Here we go. Just sort of have a bit of bit of flavour. What else have we got? This whatever this thing is, one of those. And I feel like we should have something a little bigger as well. Um, let's try medium. You have completed two hundred fifty people. That's give us enough. That'll give us enough for a coaster. That's what I was kind of holding on for, to be honest. Um, so we've got these vine. Glow bulbs and stuff that I think we could use. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, that looks good, doesn't it? Didn't see that one before. Snowmen for some reason. But then we've got these, yeah, these vines and, and these crazy things. So so on the other side, that's that's the idea now, is that you sort of come out of the... Uh, you've come out of the safety of the... You know, whatever. Um... Right, we need to do some rock work to kind of cover that in. I, I don't want to sit for ages and spend ages doing a whole proper cave around it. So um, I'm gonna I'm gonna use the game's positives um, 
I'm going to use some of the game's features as positives. We can't do on-ride videos, so I'm not worried about clipping. So I'm just going to do this. So the rock work kind of matches the uh, the rest of it. But I'm not worried about the rest of that clipping. And then all we need to do now then is with some art shapes, make it look like a tunnel, okay? Like we've done before. Um, and it kind of makes it a lot easier for us. I, and it, if I was doing a sandbox park, I would spend hours making little tunnels. But for this, I think... Um, I don't really think it's, it's, it's worth doing. So where's the uh, shapes? There we go. So what we do then is we bring that up. Uh, we make it probably a bit bigger than it is. And we make it black. There we go. And then we can do this. Whoops. That side. And oh, we might struggle a little that side. We'll do it like that. Uh, mm, that's not great. Uh, but I guess what we could do is we could take the color of that rock from this cube. Okay. And then... We can make it look like it's slightly been formed to work, you know. Yeah, there we go. So we drop that in there. Drop it down a little. Click it in. There we go. And probably do the same there. Whoops. Yeah, that'll do. Okay. Uh, and then we'll do some planting around it. Uh, now, whether or not... That big old crazy plant comes under trees or large. It's large. That's fine. So we'll do these. And then this, the idea behind here is these will take away a little bit of the uh, the look of, of, the, of what we've done here. What we've done here today. There we go. Um, do we have a rocket ship anywhere? Have we not put a rocket ship down yet? <gasps> well, we'll have one of those as we come back into the station then. How's that? To sort of say that you're coming back in to the safety of the... Oh, wow. And this huge satellite ship as well. We haven't got one... Of oh, we have. There's one of those over there. Um, kind of feel like we should have one of these. We can't do anything with that building. Uh, oh, here we go. What about... What about, it's a bit high down. What about this one here? We could build one in the middle of here and it looks like good scenery. Perfect. Spotlight turret, yeah, we've got those. Satellite dish, oh, that's just a closed one of those. Um, okay, well, let's like make it look like we're coming through a satellite array here then at the end. Back into some semblance of uh, normality. And then medium, these glow bulbs, here we go. Yeah, a few of these around just to kind of get a little, little light theme in. Not much going on here, to be honest with you. This is... I, I, the theme I'm going for here is that it's... You know, they've got a bit of budget. We're not actually on Mars, all right? I want to point that out. <laughs> this is still theme parky in my head. They've got a bit of budget, but the budget kind of stretches to a few fiberglass props, which is basically what, we, what we've got going on here. All right. But other than that, pretty happy with that. Now, all we've done this episode is kind of theme out uh, what we've got. Which isn't great. So we need to we need to get a new ride in. Um, gentle monorail ride. One of these, I feel, that kind of runs all around the top of the place. Could be pretty neat. But I don't. I bet, I, I bet it's one of those ones that people don't even ride. You know, which ones that people are like? Ugh. You know. Let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. Let's see if we can do something here. Let's uh, let's go back there. Okay, don't know how long the station has to be, so we'll try that. Okay. Um, curve around that way. Okay, that should be fine. So, build, build. Um, okay, build, build. Hopefully that'll run over the top of that neatly. Yeah, okay, good. Uh, then we're going to have to come this way a little. But, but watch out the way of those things. There we go. That's okay. That's okay. Build. Because the scenery rating should be pretty high for this, right? Um, because... Uh, well, it, well, it, well, there's loads of scenery. Because we can use all of this, is what I'm thinking. This, we've got all this scenery here that kind of isn't getting that much love. Uh, are we out of the park boundary there? Yeah, we are. That's a shame. I would have liked to have took it around there, taken it around there even. 
Um, okay, okay. Let's back up a little. Let's take it over this. Uh, let's take it over the greenhouse instead. So build. Can we do that? Oh, it's close, but I feel like. I feel like we could get away with that as, as, as if it's part of it, you know. Um, it's going to have to come over the top of... Oh, no, it's going to have to go one out. It won't, well, because of the ride, will it? Uh, okay, this way, then. There we go. I'd like to have kept it on top of buildings as much as I can, to be honest with you, for believability. Uh, what's happening here? What on earth? You only build track segments at the front of the track. Yeah, okay. So how do I? 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 There we go. Okay. That was you for now. Uh, okay, so you can now come this way. This way, maybe. Uh, no, that way, but not quite as intense. There we go. Okay, good. Build. Because what we need to do is get you round. There we go. We need to get you round onto here. That's good. Build. There we go. Hopefully staff pathing isn't a problem. Um, because you are going to come past staff pathing. Staff buildings, I know, they don't like. Uh, no, that's not going to be the way we do it. We're going to have to go straight a little first. Build. It's good that it goes close to this, though. That that That's neat that we can go so close to that. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. I think we're, I think we're on here for a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Build. Um, and then build and then I guess another station piece noise uh, okay so that tree's gonna have to go that one's gonna have to go there we go nice little monorail ride all around the top of the park that that I'd, I'd go I'd ride the hell out of that I would ride the hell out of that okay so let's do exit let's do entrance on uh, so the entrance goes it goes underneath the path goes underneath is what I'm trying to say. My word, I can't get my words out. Um, and then... Is it there? Close. Uh, ooh, now, let's have a look at what we can do regarding the type of track here. We've just... If there is options. But it's going to make me close it first. The gentle monorail ride car. No, no, no. That is the only options. Okay, what about um, colours then, just to make it a bit more sci-fi because it looks a bit more like steampunky almost at the moment doesn't it so this color here this can be uh red and uh, what color is this this is the base this can be like a, a silvery color and then this is the main one at the top so this can be like a gray that doesn't look very sci-fi at all does it i think the problem is here is that just the shape of it isn't really lending itself to much of a sci-fi style it's going to go for more of a silvery then there we go uh the track is relatively inoffensive, I suppose. Uh, we could make me wake it white just so we get a nice bit of contrast. Yeah, that's better, isn't it? Um, <clears throat> okay, look at this. Comes down by the queue. Yeah, that's me. I ride the. I was going to say a real horror, awful swear word. Well, 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 not really awful, but you know, a naughty word. And I stopped myself because I, I, people occasionally. I've never. Um, I'm going off on a bit of a tangent there, but I've never sort of aimed to not swear on videos it just kind of happens but i do get people comment saying oh i'm really glad that you don't swear um and i, I, I thought about it i was like oh well, i guess i don't for the most part i guess um but yeah sometimes they slip out so i apologize if they if they slip out and and you're uh, you're watching me because i don't do it do the noughties or the or cursing not swearing is a very british term cursing is what uh a lot of people call it right in the in the states and that. I uh, feel like I feel like that should be the queue there. Okay, and the path then comes this way, but I don't want that to be the queue. I want that to be the queue. There we go. So you've got your entrance and your exit. All right. So then we'll grab this thing here, put that there, and make it say no entry for guests. Entry only. Exit only. Um, and nobody's going to ride that because it's raining, which is a shame. I, but the annoying thing, I'm going to have to close it and open it again because people are going to be queuing up and waiting now. For, oh, does it need a bit of a fix? Or is that just a light? 
that's just a light on it, isn't it? Oh, that's okay. Should be somebody sat in there, I think. Um, Modern Rails, come and check it out now. It's fine. It's still on there. The problem is it's just wet. That's annoying, really. Let's speed it up until it's not wet. So to speak. There we go. And now people are flooding in. Okay, so what do they think of it? Let's have a look. What are thoughts so far? I'm not going on it while it's raining. That's fine. But other than that, so what? Look, let's close and open because I know that, I know they're all going to come out, but I'm not having them all sit and wait for a go. No, no, let's speed it up so people are on it. Weep up. Okay, here we go. People are actually getting on it there. That's good. Is it just two people per go? That's so weird. The idea that you're on your own and you're just like having to sit with somebody you've never met before to ride this really long, slow ride. But people are on it now. Okay, so let's let's see if some views are starting to come in. I want to go on it. That's fine. Now we need a name. I can't call it the gentle monorail ride. So let's call it the um, cargo uh, cargo distribution line. Uh, X54, I don't know, that's the sort of thing they would, they would call this. Uh, cargo distribution line X54, that <laughs> sounds thrilling. I, I, I want to go on cargo distribution line X54. Uh, drinks seems to be okay now, people seem to be moaning. Let's have a look at our, what our uh, experience is like. 63, we're getting there, we're getting there. We need more people and we need better experiences. I think, uh, I, I think it's just, it's a rides thing now, isn't it? Use the wrong path there. Well, not the wrong path, but a different path to the one we were using. There we go. So we're going to come out this way then. So what rides have we not put down that we have? We have bumper cars. No, we don't have bumper cars. Bumper cars have worked pretty well here, I think. We have the simulator. We have the gravitron. We have the top spin. We have a steel coaster. Uh, that's it. We're going to have to do some research, I think, on this level. Unless we can... If we can squeeze some little bits in. Bumper cars could kind of work there. Or we could just sort of start moving up the hills a little. We could just start moving up the hill a little, can't we? There we go. We'll put that th there. Open it. Okay, so the entrance is going to be here. And the exit's going to be here. We're going to open it. It's going to get some banging music on it. We're going to come over this way, this way. Um, that's it, in fact. And then we're going to use, we're going to have the normal path come up to meet it, like that. There we go. And then this is where we'll we'll branch off over here if needs must. Um, yeah, we should probably box in the station of this, but I don't feel like this sort of station would work. I think it would look really high and blocky. Um, I think maybe we should kind of carry on this theming, really. Um, all right, I tell you what, we'll do a we'll do a a quick cut. Um, yeah, we'll do a quick cut while we get to, while we get this building done. Okay, here we go. Um, that's worked out quite well. I think this is a big version of that fence, which is pretty neat. So we'll keep that going here as long as it fits in. Okay, it does. Nice. Uh, and then the same on the other side. There we go. And then we'll use the smaller version. Uh, where's the smaller one? Where is the smaller fence? There. Uh, to kind of do that, I guess. Does it look okay? That clips? Yeah. Okay, good. Just checking it so it clips into the walls, really. There we go. So it also fits nice. There we go. And because it's storage, if we then sort of start using the smaller boxes and all that, then we've kind of got a, uh, we've kind of got a theme then, haven't we? You know, this is you are, uh, like there would be an audio saying, you are tasked with the uh, the important job of making sure our defenses are, you know what I mean? They sort of did that, like, like they make they make a, a little ride like this to be a much bigger deal than it is. Um, in fact, I think everyone's clicked onto the fact because nobody's riding it now. I can only assume maybe it might be too expensive. Can't get to it. What? Oh, I've put the exit... Oh, what a moron. I've put the exit only. <laughs> At the end of the ride. There we go. No entry. Should we try that instead, shall we, hey? 
That made people flood to it now. What an idiot I am. Let's speed it up, see if actually people do. They're thinking about it? Yeah, I think they're queuing. Yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. <laughs> what an idiot. Ah ha ha. Trash bins. Um, a couple of those around, I suppose. As people come up here. Uh, people riding dodgems. Yeah, people are dodging it up. That's good. Um, benches. Okay. Oh. It's on the edge of a path. Okay, cool. Play, slightly plain thing uh, edges here. I think there are there are pipes, aren't there? Um, I don't know what they come under, but probably not. Probably not. Uh, pipe? No. Where are they? Like here. Cable. Cable. Yes. Here we go. Cable. No. Slope. 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 Ah. So there aren't actually any cables that go straight up. That's a shame, because I'd have, I'd have had them going up the side of these buildings, I think. I'd have had them like, choo, 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 like that. Um, so, they're, otherwise, they're relatively plain, aren't they? I suppose we can uh, break it up a little with some giant trees. One of those can go there, and maybe not there, but maybe this size. Oh, now it looks a bit like uh, Squirrel Nutkin ride, or, the, or whatever it is now, the CBeebies ride. <laughs> um... Let's see, Beebe's Land. One of those, just because I think they're pretty sweet. Um, and a couple of medium -y bits here. There we go. They're good. Uh, somebody, somebody commented saying that after this level, they didn't really use the sci-fi stuff much because it's a bit bulky, and I, I can kind of see that. Yeah, and I can, I can see see where the uh, the issue would be there. To be honest with you, because it, it it is quite a uh, a bulky set, but um. I like it, but it is one of those sets that I don't know whether you'd use it that much. Like it's same with Planko, though. You know, the, the Planko sci-fi set. It's just it's probably my least used. Uh, oh, that could be something there. Could we do that just to kind of? That looks that looks all right, doesn't it? That's a little bit of detail. I like that. Um, let's put a. Oh, that, here we go. That brick. That's definitely uh, definitely a way to go in it. There we go. Top spin is broken. That's fine. We've got mechanics. They can do their job. Um, whether or not this needs covering much, I don't know how people feel about it. Let's have a look. Scenery. Decoration rating. Uh, they're very happy around there. Not so happy around here. There's loads of scenery, though. Rain protection. Yeah, just that one ride. Oh, this ride's sorted by rain, actually. That's interesting. Trash. We're okay for vandalism. I, I think we're okay for. I'm not too sure what I'm looking for there. Um, in, interesting that uh, the decoration is so low here, when actually there's quite a bit going on. But it's really high here. Is it just because of all the trees spammed? Or just because that is a very high area? I mean, that, yeah, I suppose there is something on every edge, isn't there really there? Just starts to thin out a little here. Mm, okay. Well, I'll be honest with you. I, the, the plan was to get this one finished in this episode, but um, I think this is going to be a bit of a slower, uh, slower grind. The coast is still doing well. We're making bank. We're making loads of money. So I'll tell you what we will do. Let's hire a team to get a decent coaster built, and let's give them 600 quid a month. Yeah. Let's kind of leave them to it and see what they bring up. And then in the next episode, we'll build a second coaster that I think should be enough to push us. Um, are we Are we got the entertainment? Yes, yeah, so the experiences is done now. So the actual only thing we need to do is have guests in the park. So I think a second coaster in the next episode. So hopefully next episode, then we'll cut this one off and have a look at the next one. And um, we'll probably sort of fini finish off the theme in with, uh, with a second coaster that comes and does a bit of interaction with this one. That'd be pretty neat, wouldn't it? Okay, cool. Right, thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, you can give us a like. If you just help at the channel. And if you're not already, don't forget to subscribe. Any thoughts, queries, or suggestions, you can pop them down in the comments. If you fancy a chat, you can find me on Twitter. I'm at John T. Sparrow. If you'd like to join in with the Geekism community, you can do so over on our Geekism Discord server. You'll find the link for that in the description. 
Thank you very much to all of our generous patrons who make these videos possible through their support at patreon.com slash geekism. And don't forget to check out our affiliate links, get yourself some cheap games and other goodies while supporting the channel at the same time. Uh, all of that sort of stuff is in the description. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.